Hi everybody, if you want to learn how to add the coast to coast map mod to your American Truck Simulator game, this is the tutorial video for you. Now the coast to coast map mod adds all of the states that aren't already in the game as either official states or DLC states. Places like Virginia, Florida, Massachusetts, South Carolina, New York, and basically it adds the entire eastern half of the United States. Now, some of the areas aren't fully fleshed out, but still, it's pretty cool to be able to drive from California to say Boston and stuff like that. In order to add this map mod to your American Truck Simulator game, we have to do three things. First of all, we have to download the correct file, then we have to install it into our American Truck Simulator game, and then we have to activate it and get it in the right load order in our list of mods inside the game. We'll take each three of these three steps in order. It's not a hard process. Let's get started. One of the nice things about the Coast to Coast map mod is that there's only one file. Now, it's not available in the Steam Workshop, so you have to download it manually and install it manually, but this isn't so hard to do. You can get it in a lot of places, but the site I like to use is called Truckee Mods, and I'll put a link to the file, to the page with the file on it, down in the video description down below. It's pretty easy once we're here. All we really have to do is click on this pretty big download button, but, but there's two things to check. So hold on for just one second. You wanna make sure that the version of your game, the game that you're running, American Truck Simulator, is compatible with the maps. And basically when the base game gets updated, it can take map mod makers a week, a few days, a couple weeks to update their map mods. So sometimes the game might be ahead of the map mods. And if you install it, you'll have issues. Now, if you're not sure what version of the game you're running, when you first load up the game in the bottom right hand corner, it shows you that version number. So I know that I'm running version 1.49 of American Truck Simulator, and I can see the compatibility on this map mod is version 1.49. So I know that I'm good to go. There's one more thing to check, however. If we scroll down here in the bottom of the, the mod here, we can see these little tabs here. We want to click the dependencies, and then it shows us all of the things that we have to have in our game in order to be able to run the Coast to Coast mod. Now, basically what's here, right, is all of the state DLCs in addition to the core game. Makes sense, right? Because you're hooking up the rest of the United States to the core game. So if you're missing one of the DLC states, it's not going to match up very well. So for this one, if you don't have all of the DLCs for the states, you can't really run Coast to Coast mod. So you want to pick those up in order to be able to do this. I know I've got all the DLCs installed, so I'm good to go. I know the version number is the same. So I'm just going to click on download and your download will start shortly. And then it's going to drop it into my downloads folder on the game. And we're done with step one. So now that we've got the file downloaded, we want to learn how to install it into our game. It's pretty easy. I'm looking at my downloads folder here on Windows, and I can see the coast to coast file that I just downloaded. Now, you don't even have to unzip this or anything because it's already in this type SCS file. We can see the extension at the end that says .scs, and that's the file extension that's used for American Truck Simulator mods. So all I have to do is move it. I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to copy it right here. And now the pathway where the mods sit in Windows is under documents. So I'm going to highlight documents on the left side, or a lot of times your navigation window might look better than different than mine. So you just want to navigate to your documents folder. I'm going to open that up and I can see I've got American Truck Simulator is right near the top because it starts with an A. I'm going to open up American Truck Simulator by double clicking on it. And I can see inside of American Truck Simulator, I've got a mod folder. Now, don't panic if you don't have a mod folder. Just make one, all lowercase m-o-d, that's it. So I'm going to go inside this mod folder right here. I'm going to open it up, double click it. I can see these are all the mods that I've got installed in the American Truck Simulator game. Now, I'm going to click up here on Paste and this will put the file into the folder. Now, I'm gonna get a warning here because I've already got this file installed, but if you haven't got it installed, it's just gonna automatically transfer right into your mod folder and you are good to go. Um, as a quick aside, if you're using a Macintosh, the folder file for where your American Truck Simulator mod folder is is a little bit different, and I'll put a link in the video description to help you figure out where that is. So now we are done with step two. We've downloaded the file. We've installed it into American Truck Simulator. Now we've got to go inside of American Truck Simulator, activate the mod, and get it in the right order. Let's go on to step three. 
We're on to step three. How do we activate it in the game and get it in the right order? And just as an aside, I can see I've loaded up the game here and in the bottom right hand side of the screen, I can see that I'm running version 1.49 point something, 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 something. But that match matches the 1.49 that was on the mod. So I know that I'm good to go installing the mod in this version of the game. So let's activate it. We're gonna do that. We wanna open up the mod manager by clicking on the yellow button right in the middle of the game. And this is gonna open up a screen that shows all the mods that I've got installed in the game. As a quick aside here, you'll note that I've got the Caribbean installed and there's a bunch of other mods that you can add that kind of sit on top of Coast to Coast mod. And I'll be making some videos about those and how to install those in the future. Some of them are pretty cool. So this is just the beginning really by adding Coast to Coast to your game. But let's not get too distracted. I can see all the mods here and I wanna kind of scroll down or I can use the search button up here and type Coast, but here it is. Coast to Coast version 2.15. And this means that I've correctly installed it in my game because it's showing up in my list here now. Now, I wanna activate it in the game. So to do that, I can. there's two ways. I can either click on it once and click this right arrow here, or I can just double click the mod and that's going to install it right at the top of my active mods. Now you might be thinking, am I done? The answer is no, not necessarily because the order that these mods sit in your game is very, very important. And the first category that we have to order mods by is what type of mod it is. So there's like user interface mods, weather mods, sound mods, truck downloads, paint job mods, and all these kinds of things. So the question is where do map mods go in this order? Here's a general look at the, the list of the types of mods in the order that they go in. And I can see with this list that map mods go at the very bottom of this load order. So I'm gonna click on coast to coast mods here, and I'm gonna come down to the bottom. I can decrease the priority by clicking one at a time here, but I'm just going to send it all the way to the bottom. So I got coast to coast now at the bottom of all my lists because it goes a map goes right at the bottom. You might be thinking, well, I'm done then, right? The answer is maybe, maybe not. Because if you've got other maps in your map load order, there's also a load order for the maps. Now, the load order for the maps can get quite a bit complicated if you've got a lot of maps loaded in your game. But here's a list that shows the priority for all of the map, the various map mods that are floating around in American Truck Simulator at the time of creating this, this video here. This is thanks, by the way, to Revan Fan, who's a big fan of the channel and has been helping out a lot with advice and tips on how to make this work in my game as well. So thanks to him for that help. Now, we can see here on this list, if I look, that coast to coast, I've got a bunch of map mods installed. I can see that the coast to coast one goes right after the Caribbean map models too, and right right above Project Better Arizona. So here is my Project Better Arizona. Here's my Caribbean. I know that I want to put my coast to coast one right between those two. So I'm going to increase the priority. Bang. And now it's in the right spot. If you don't have other map mods in your game, you don't have to worry about the state step. Just put it at the bottom and you're good. But if you do have other map mods, you want to use this list to make sure you get them in the right order. And now that's it. We are totally done. We've correctly installed everything. We got the file in the right order. We are good to go. I'm going to confirm my changes here. Now I've correctly and correctly installed Coast to Coast in American Truck Simulator. I'm going to fire up the game and let's see if we got it right. So we're in our garage. Let's check to see if the map loaded correctly. I've got the map uh, world map icon, right? I'm going to click on the world map and it's going to open up. Now I'm down in the Caribbean because I've got the Caribbean maps installed as well. But if I scroll up here, I can see Florida. There we go. East coast, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Maine, let's go to Michigan. The world is your oyster. Now you can go all the way from New York, all the way to Los Angeles, cross country drives and stuff like that. Now, some of the content in some of these areas is pretty sparse, especially up in the New England area. But still, it's pretty cool to be able to do some long distance drives and explore some different parts of the United States. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to see this mod in action, I'll put a link up here to the one of the videos where we went from Louisiana down well into the central part of Florida with this mod. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.